Gareth. Oh, I have had the biggest bitch of a day. I needed somewhere to hide. Frailty, thy name is woman. Good afternoon, Hedda. I'm very well, thank you for asking. I thought of here since no one knows you anymore. Thanks for the ego books, Hedda. And that's not entirely true. I just had a call from someone who asked for Gareth Hughes. Oh, they were just checking to see if you were still alive. The value of your memorabilia goes up once you die. I thought you, you're having an inventory, Gareth? What is it? Assessing your worth? Oh, worry beads. A photograph of a sheep? In actual fact, it's a rare breed, Gower Salt Marsh Lamb. I could hear them at night across the Laforestry when I was a lad, calling for their mams when they'd become stranded or were lost. A crucifix? A red Indian headdress? Is this from your days in Nevada? Not guilty, I'm afraid. I was given that by Jay Silverheels himself when he came by to visit some old friends. <laughs> that was the biggest con of all. <laughs> Silverheels, a red Indian. He was playing old Harold Smith, and he wasn't even an American. He was a moose from Canada. He was a genuine mohawk header, not a fake. <laughs> you don't have anything here genuine from, from your days in Hollywood. You know, from the movies, when people did actually know who you were. Not a thing. And now you're totally forgotten. The head had come away from that window at once. You're like a Swansea Market fishwife looking for gossip on a dull and damp Tuesday morning. Thankfully, I don't think anybody recognised me. Dearest Hedda, not being recognised is something you don't do very well at all. You weren't built to remain unnoticed. <laughs> One of the trappings of celebrity, Gareth. Oh, forgive me. It's been so long for you, isn't it? <laughs> the lifestyle and what it entails has slipped your mind. You drive around in a Rolls Royce, for goodness sake. Rollers aren't noted for the shy, retiring nature of their owners. <laughs> Having one is a bit garish, don't you think? Are you poking fun at me? Radio shows, the TV programmes, the newspaper columns, the ever so glitzy friends and, of course, the hats. Gareth, I am being serious. Oh, I've never been more serious. You are header the headline hopper, after all. I was only thinking about it earlier. You are probably the most famous person in America. Only America? It's a very big planet, and your fame relies on electricity, and a lot of places don't have that. Oh, they don't? And the proof of the level of your fame? Me. Gareth Hughes, screen, matinee and film legend, has been reduced to errand boy status. I'm even taking calls for you now. There was one just before you came in. Any message? No. They rang off when I asked who they were. And if I was still a betting man, I'd wager a small fortune that your fame will outlast even some of those you've written about. But you, you think my name will outshine others? I said outlast, Hedda. A small but significant difference. Oh, come on, Gareth. I'm not, I'm not all that bad. Well, I agree. You aren't all bad. Neither of us is. The proportion is also a variable, depending on lots of factors. In fact... So, I have helped people. They have gotten nowhere without me, and then they know it. A good turn is its own reward. Not in this town. And that's why I got out. Oh, so you keep saying... Maybe I need to as well. Have you seen today's LA Times? I've not had a chance. I, I do read your column regularly, I promise. Not every day, I admit, but quite often. As you can see, I'm knee-deep in sorting through my past. I'm planning on a baggage-free future. Are you saying that just to keep Hedda happy? Look! I've even got a copy of the nice piece you did about me a few Christmases ago. Everyone asks me often, do you really know Hedda Hopper? Do they? Do they really ask if you know me? Oh, Hedda, you are such a disappointment. Mm -hmm. I was expecting at least some sort of comeback. I doubt if anyone knows what a huge soft centre you have, just like putty and mm -hmm. so predictable. Yes, my dear, yes, they really do ask me. Really? Can we switch back to reality? You mentioned an article in today's paper. Yeah. Your, your Hedda is upset. It's not one of my articles, and I didn't write it. No, it's about me. I am the news. Oh, not good. Not good. Not good at all. <sighs> extra, extra, hopper finished. Read all about it. Better no. get slammed. Take a look. 
I'm finished. Oh. Gareth, what can I do? Wilding wins six-figure settlement <gasps> over Hopper Book Libel. Oh, this is tragic. Awful. How can I help? Do you have two million dollars? If I did. Oh, no. Oh, I know you would, yes. Oh, I'm ruined. And I suppose J. Edgar is out of the loop to do what he did best. No, only the government can make things disappear like they never really happened. To quote Mr. Hoover, it is easier to hide a body in the Nevada desert than it is to shake off the words issued in newsprint. Two million dollars. That's a lot of money for just a few silly words. They're making me out to be a liar. I mean, I was only telling the truth, as I was told Just it. because something may be true, does that make it appropriate to inform the world of what is essentially a personal matter? Oh, the show business is personal. Well, those people, well, they, they need, they need the glamour. They want the adulation. And they live for the sound of applause and cheers. Well, I'm with you all the way on that, dearie. Nothing like that sweet narcotic of roars and cheers. I'm bleeding to death here, Gara. You poor baby. Now, let me get this right. You believe that because you made them, so you have the right to destroy them. Is that what you're saying? No, they, they do a deal. Why, dear, this isn't some sort of smoky basement where deals are done. Oh, then, Gareth, you seem to have a very short memory. That is exactly how deals are done. That's very rich. It wasn't so long ago you were Elder Furry of Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. I wish I had never told you that.